Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I just wanted to give a quick overview of a particular style of technical documentation uh, that caught my eye using SOLIDWORKS Composer. And basically the idea here is uh, to create a step-by-step -step assembly manual where we only have the active part actually shaded in color. So the component that actually needs to be used, or if there's multiple components that need to be used in this step, um, the idea is to just shade those particular components. And that just really helps declutter the image and draw, uh, draw your eye to the, the actual component in question. And it's very easy to do inside Composer here, so I just wanted to show a quick workflow for accomplishing that. I should point out too, this is also useful if, uh, if the instructions you're printing are gonna end up being in black and white, um, then this is a way that we can, again, draw attention to the components that we need. And even if we don't show those components in color, even if instead we wanted to uh, show them as a solid shaded color, for instance, um, I could assign just a solid shaded color to them to still give some contrast on a, a black and white drawing. We'll take a look at how to set this up. Here I have my uh, starting assembly. And the quickest way I've found to, to create these types of instructions is to just select all the components here, even sometimes selecting your whole top level assembly, and then set their color to white. So I can just set the color to white right here. There are other options. You could try to change the render style, for instance. I could switch the render style to silhouette, which gives me a very similar look. And I could try to do custom render styles where I control the display of each of these individual uh, items. But just by far the fastest way I found is, is I'm gonna leave it on my flat technical setting here. And I'll just box select everything and change the color to just a plain white, okay? And then in general to create my assembly instructions, I'm basically uh, reversing the steps of the assembly process. So I'll take the last component that would be installed here, like the speed controller for, this is the kind of a front part of a plane, RC plane here. Um, I'll take the speed controller there and I'll say, okay, let's go ahead and translate that up. It's gonna be my last component to be installed. And while I still have that selected, I can restore its original colors very easily by just clicking on its color settings and choosing to restore its neutral properties. So that will bring the colors back from the model. Or if, just, if I desire the more monochrome, I could just overwrite it with a, a dark gray color there. Okay. But at any point, I can just say restore the neutral neutral colors from the model. Those would be the colors that came over with SOLIDWORKS. Or they could be colors I manually defined in Composer, so long as I had set them to the neutral properties. Now I can continue adding arrows and things here. In this case, I have a style created that will make all my arrows and annotations monochrome uh, to, again, keep with that clean look. And I can just capture and update views as I need. And then when I'm done with these particular components, hide those ones out, get started on translating out whatever the next set of components is, the motors here, for instance, uh, drag those out a certain distance, and while I still have them selected, restore the neutral colors. I can start adding arrows and things to show um, the positions of those components. So it's just a really, it's a really quick way um, of creating these views, but I personally at least really like the aesthetic style that it produces um, to basically set all the other components to white and then just select the actual components that um, I want to be translating and right as I'm translating them I'm also restoring their original color properties. Just make sure you select the color property before you click on restore neutral properties. Okay. So that's all I want to show in this quick video just the technique for uh, quickly producing this particular style of step-by-step -step assembly instruction inside Composer. Of course, there's a lot of other things we can do with Composer as well. Um, but wanted to make everyone aware of this type of technique if you haven't seen this style of documentation before.